Pinwheel Records. Train. And we're on the south side of Chicago. Great storm. This is a very nice, clean store. Thank you, thank you. Pinwheel Records. Now the f spec is not the OG, otherwise I'd have that. But, 1991 Orange, that's cool. 76 Mink is there. Dollar bins, t-shirts, he was most on the news, huh, Pee Wee. Nice batch of local music. Which is always good to see. Good stuff on that one. Here. I'm going to go back to Scott here. Some great stuff. Great record store. Where, where am I at even? I'm in Chicago. Is yes. this Chicago proper? You're in the Pilsen neighborhood. Pilsen South neighborhood. Yeah, South side. 18th Street. Okay. I, I just go where Google tells me. Hey, there you go. Perfect. And welcome. The midweek show is here. And as usual, it is a conglomeration of different things. We begin with my tour of Pinwheel Records in the Chicago area. Last week I did 606 Records. Pinwheel's only like a mile, two miles from there. It's in a more of a Latino section. The murals on the buildings are incredible. It was such an interesting area. I, I, I was hurried. My, my wife wouldn't even come into this one. She says, I'm going to sit in the car. I'm just going to wait in the car. And we had to get to Midway Airport. It's getting toward rush hour. La, la, la. But I had a great time in there. I met Scott and his wife. Pinwheel Records. Had a really nice time looking around. A lot of... Um, some really good albums that I really would like to have had. Uh, the biggest one, though, I did pick up this. Um, and I haven't talked about it yet. I think it's for this Sunday here. Uh, Joe, Joe Strummer's Global A-Go-Go. And this has, this has Mang, Mando Bango. Love that song. Hard album to find in vinyl. I used to have it on CD. Really happy to get that. And I picked up this one. I haven't shown this one yet here. This is the very first Los Lobos, Del Este de Los Angeles. Thing is, it's a reissue, and it's signed by Caesar there. So that was pretty neat. He did it in the store, I guess. Caesar um, and uh, C. Caesar Rosa, one of the founding members of it, and the vinyl was on. It's on black vinyl. 
The only problem was when I when I felt this, it was sealed. Um, it was sealed. Actually, it was um, they just tore open the, the the shrink so it could be signed. But there was this crease here, and I bring it and I was like, hmm, I hope that's okay. I hope that's okay. But I thought, oh, what the heck? It should be okay. Problem is, you know what? I'm not going back because I'm here. But uh, you probably can't see it. Is warped. Uh, the song, the first song on each side really can't play. Everything else sounds fine, it's good, but the first songs on each side I was unable to play. So that was very disappointing. You know, it's sealed, you don't, you don't know. And as I was feeling, I go, boy, mm, I don't know about this, but I was excited because it's the very first old Los Lobos. And though it's a reissue, you just don't see this. I had an autograph, so yay. So, oh well. Uh, still happy to have it. Just the warp was too bad. But great store. I tell you, the people were fresh, so nice there. Uh, Scott, the owner, just great. Uh, it was fun talking with them. Just, this is how record stores, you know, what, what you really like, because when you go in and these, and the owners are so friendly, they love the music. Obviously, that's why they're there doing this, and you can have these conversations, and even from people from out of town, you know, I'm not, not there, never, but I picked up some stuff. I had some other stuff, too, for the life of me. I can't figure out what I bought, but doesn't matter. Um, so let's get into a couple things here. So we're going to do a variety of things. This is a book I'd finished reading a couple months ago. I hadn't shown it yet. Sweet Soul Music. And this is by Peter Grolnick. And uh, really, this, this guy is super big into soul music. I believe... Uh, John at Digital Gramophone had talked about this a while back. It might have been even last year. And I put it on my list of things to do. Such a outstanding source of information and stories about the beginning of soul music. And how it went from this gospel and went into soul. And basically, if you want to make some money, you're going to have to go the soul route. But you're going to sell your soul to it. And, you know, it's just, it was so much fun re re reading this. You know, it goes to Sam Cooke, Ray Charles, James Brown, Solomon Burke. That guy, to talk about stories. Oh, my God. He was always out for a buck. He would make sandwiches to bring on the tour bus and sell it to his people. Hey, I got sandwiches. He bought all this popcorn. He bought so much popcorn, didn't know what to do with it. So he began bringing it to shows. And just, you know, part of his contract, I sell concessions, selling the popcorn. That guy was something else. It goes through Al Green, Otis Redding, Aretha Franklin. It talks about, you know, uh, their son, uh, Fame Studios, Stax. Just an incredibly interesting book. What a fun read. Um, sweet Soul Music. For those of you that like that stuff, highly recommend it. Uh, then I believe I saw this on Dale Gatefold. Um, God dang it, Dale. Gatefold 45, Gatefold 33, maybe Gatefold 33. I'm sorry, Gail, I just forgot the last part of your uh, thing. But here was, he's, he's out of Britain. He, he, he bought this um, CD set, Think I'm Going Weird. And this looks at 1966 to 68 artifacts from the British psychedelic scene. And it's a four CD. There is, um, it talks about how... The music came up from the underground, from like the UFO and, and places like that, and began to find mainstream acceptance as drug use began to become more and more prominent and out there. You know, the summer of love, of course, in England, things were different than in the U.S. Uh, obviously, this is all just each band that's in there. Uh, I will show you that, though it probably does you absolutely no good to try to see all that. But a lot of different bands, and they real. I mean, so what do I know about um, this? It's five CDs. Sorry, I, I don't know a lot. Of, I'm not a psych person. I I don't mind the music. I like it. I will buy some. I don't go gaga over it. But it's it's still it's interesting. These are the kind of comps that help me get a feeling for that music and to understand what's happening. And so again, it's just 
goes through everything. Here I got three things from the zombies on there. Oh no, that's 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 the moles. There's a bunch from the moles. Uh, Procoherum family. Just so many Barclay, James Harvest. A lot of them I don't know, but really great listen. So after I bought that, I don't know oh, what the hell. On clearance or at very low, low, lot lower prices, we had this little box set. This is a 3C box set called Banquet Underground Sounds of 1969. And I will put that up once again in case you just really want to put it on hold to read all of that. Uh, looking at Britain again, and we're talking the different underground sounds, basically more psychedelic, but there's other things. The booklet, again, like the other one, covers each group. A little bit about them, a little bit about the sound. You know, but see here, it's not all psych. You have 10 years after. You have taste. Uh, there's early Fleetwood Mac, Spooky Tooth, Fairport Convention, The Straubs, Deep Purple, Genesis, yes. You know, it was before these bands really made it. There's Juicy Lucy, Bloodwind Pig, Thunderclap Newman, uh, Man, Renaissance, Climax Blues Band. It's what they put out in 1969. So fascinating uh, to listen to some of these. Some of it I like. Some of it I go, God, I'd never buy that in a billion years. But not bad. So if you're going to buy that, well, let's just go 1970. Again, it was on Amazon. It was at a lower price. This is a four CD box set. Same kind of group of artists, you know, we have on here like you had last time. You also have the obligatory book. And, you know, it's going to look exactly like the last one, except the pictures are different because you have different people on here. And so like, it's very much, uh, we got, oh, there's Barclay, James Harvest again, Fleetwood Mac, Caravans on here, Vandergraaf Generator, Atomic Rooster, Jethro Taub, L. Stewart. L. Stewart was on both of them. Traffic. Uh, um, family again. Pretty things. Neat little set to talk about this on uh, these underground sounds that were coming out of Britain. And some of them were very, very big. So uh, there you have some interesting stuff that helped me get a feeling for some of these bands that I really don't know a whole lot about. Finally, there is a thread out there about show us music, I guess albums from other countries. World music is kind of a, is it international music? Is it music from anywhere but the United States? Unless you're in Britain, then it's anywhere but Britain. Doesn't matter. Let's show some music from around the world. Let's call it that, okay? Uh, and so this is going around. I thought, well, I guess if anybody should be able to do that, it should be me and that was like the easiest thing in the world to do so i'm just going to show you some of the stuff that i have okay so um hold on one second here i had music i was going to be playing and i forgot to do it wait all right there okay man oh well okay orchestra riverside i have not shown this on the channel it's coming up this is from cuba uh no one really knows when it was made it's unknown but it was in the 70s it's an original i found it 606 records down in um in chicago great stuff big band cuba's changing at this time cuba's getting more into the dance music and away from all the political crap very good stuff super neat from Belgium, because Belgium's the hotbed of, um, I think NATO's there. Uh, yeah, Belgium, good beer. Camper Oro. What a fantastic, if you see something from Camper Oro, it takes Latin and African ry rhythm, some Turkish psych, puts it all together. And just, this is an incredibly good album. I couldn't recommend this thing even more. It's with Marat Ertel. And it's called Submerg. It is air I'm doing this and I can't pronounce anything, but really good. From Belgium. How about from Turkey? Uh, some Turkish psych here. Um, and it's called Bunalim. Bunalim. 70s Turkish psych. Far out, kind of crazy. Some of it's fast, hard. Some of it's a little soft and quiet. So it's it's all over the place. But 
just a nice example of 70s Turkish psych. Then Peru. Oh my God, I got a number of interesting things for Peru. Good garage rock. But here's psych, and this is Gerard Manuel in Hummel. This is an incredibly good. So this is one of my all-time favorite psych albums. I, 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 I love this thing to death. It is so much fun to listen to. I didn't think his other albums... I mean, to me, this is the pinnacle of what he did. And, uh, you know, again, there's his name, Gerard Manuel and Humo and Smoke. Super psych. I mean, it's you just can't go wrong with that thing. Very, very good stuff. Um, then let's fly over to Denmark. There we go. And one of my favorite from Denmark, and this is Lars Ulfsson. Uh, I mean, Ulf Larsen. And uh, this is the album he put out last This is my favorite album of the last year, uh, Magic Realism. Uh, just incredibly good stuff. I, I played this thing so much, I, I just couldn't stop playing. Actually, this is two years ago. Uh, it was my favorite album of the year. Still an album I play constantly. It has such great beats out of Denmark. Denmark is just a hotbed of phenomenally good music, I think. Yeah, you're making this difficult. Out of Sweden, my favorite album of last year, Out of Sweden, First Boy on the Moon. This took top honors for me. I, I just, beautiful, beautiful, 80 type of a vibe with the music, but yet made for now. Uh, and the songwriting was incredible, the vocals, Catchy, catchy tunes, the type that stick in your head and will never leave your head. Out of France, why not? We have the Gypsy Kings here. This is um, Greatest Hits, the best of the Gypsy Kings. Hey, I used to have a lot of their CDs. If you have the best of, you have um, Volare, whoa, I mean, hey, that's, that's what you need to have. But there's a lot of other really good stuff. Uh, the best of really captures it. Gypsy Queens out of France. Then, Switzerland. Who could forget the Swiss? I like the Swiss. I've been there. Nice country. Nice people. Things were on time. I guess I was never late, but I was driving. Um, we have here Imperial Tiger Orchestra. So it's a Swiss group that gets into African rhythms. Just fun music um, on their take of Africa uh, music. It's fast-paced. It's... Uh, Lots of stuff happening. Of course, percussion's a big part of it. Really good stuff out of Switzerland. Then out of um, Nigeria, Sunny A Day. That's a nice original from Sunny A Day. This was a eaten up by a lion. I'm pretty sure the lion attacked it and chewed up most of the album. But what a phenomenal this this guy's great you know fella Kuti was easy to show from nigeria well he's very popular too but i just want to show you a really cool original that must have been mauled by a tiger or a lion not, not not tiger tigers aren't aren't in africa it would have been a lion okay orchestra blob i believe this is from Beniz was the country and more bigger band, lots of instruments, you know, high life inspired music. It's either Belize or Singal, but I think this one was Belize. Uh, Belize, Belize, not Belize. Belize is down in Central America. Uh, an easy to find album, really good, nice, happy type music, very enjoyable. Over in Japan, yeah, you're not liking me moving around, are you? Uh, we have a hot day. Hey, I don't. I can't pronounce it. And this is Afro grooves meet Japanese traditional music, and it works. So <laughs> just take the Japanese stuff and you work it in with African music. Very enjoyable. Listen, a lot of fun to hear them go. You know, I I just love. You know, the rhythms of Latin America and the rhythms of Africa. And so when other countries take that and start incorporating it, it makes for a lot of fun. So, out of Japan. This one is from Senegal. And El Rego. I think 
can see the band there. You get more uh, kind of almost like soul music happening. Um, this came out of Daptone. And, and I mean, soul music done the African way. And so a lot of, you know, bigger orchestration on here. You do have your trumpets, your flutes, your saxophones. All of that is part of this album. Just another one of those great albums. I mean, there's so many that you can find now, but out of Cynical. Out of Sweden again, we have Goat. And, uh, of course, Goat takes... And takes their music, their own version of rock, and adds in a lot of African type sounds to it. Big group, a lot of fun. I got hooked onto this by the VC, and I appreciate that. Really nice stuff. Then from Ghana, yeah, a couple. These here are originals out of Ghana. We have the Kona, Konadas. Conadas band. I got a couple originals from them. There's the label. And here we have the African Brothers International. And that's off the Phillips label. Examples of high life music uh, coming out of Ghana, which high life was huge there. In fact, I believe that is where it originally came from and spread. So nice originals uh how about thailand i have a couple albums from this group kun Naren, the kun Naren electric fin band i i played samples of this when i showed that a year or so ago and folks really really like this it's just <laughs> um the thai vocals aren't bad they aren't crazy but it, it just takes all these different rhythms that, that, that are happening with traditional Taiwanese music, and it's very danceable. Uh, so it, it just has this great kind of a beat that you can get up and dance to. Something crazy, something fun, not bad at all. Another Turkish band, I already showed them Turkish, so I didn't need to do this. Eltim Gun, Yul. The, it's, it's, this is modern Turk. The one I showed you before was older. This is modern take on the Turkish psych, but also heavy into world music. And again, I use world music extremely loose there. Uh, more of the African, but this one has funk and psychedelic synth pops with freak beats, it says. Um, great stuff. This group always, you know, comes up with neat things. From Antigua. We have here, and what we got is um, King um, King Short Shirt, not to be confused with King Long Shirt. So King Short Shirt out of Antigua, extremely popular. He really is the king in Antigua. I'm not sure if he is anymore. I think he's dead. Uh, then we have here out of Jamaica, Two Sevens Clash, and this is an original. Oh, so was that last one, and I didn't show the label. Sorry about that. Um, found this when I was in Boston. Neat. Um, just a nice find. So I was in a store that um, Dave Local Bandography said to go to and then I sent him pictures and he said pick up that album. So I listened to him and I did. And good call. That was a really really good one. And the final one, one of those great albums. This is a nice original. And it's um, Catano. And here, let's see. Try. I, I have one. I have a repress album in here also. I'm trying to be careful with this because it's it's very fragile. There we go. On the Phillips label. And um, there's reissued in mono. And I, I found this at look locally. You know, well, you know, in, in, in Michigan this original and I, I was so excited when I saw that so just one of those extremely great examples of some of the best stuff to come out of Brazil and Brazil has so much amazing music so there we go that is some of my albums and I went way over but hey oh well life's a bitch um we did it though and I uh, can't even said hi so thanks for dropping by and uh please um pop in Sunday
to the travel record show. I don't know what you call it. Bye.